Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you uh, the various, uh, you can say the effects of jQuery, uh, the hide function, how you can use show function, what are the different function in your jQuery. So uh, moving to the this topic, uh, we will be doing here as animations, callback functions and the chaining, how you can do chaining of your jQuery methods. So let's start with the implementation. I have made a preliminary like uh, things with me. Like I have made a few buttons that has height, show, toggle, fade out, fade in, fade to, slide up, slide down, slide toggle, single and multiple CSS and the animate function. So these are all the effects that I, we are going to demonstrate. We will be talking about callback functions, uh, the various callback functions that can be executed at the end of your animations and how you can club up uh, the two effects or the two functions together so that a good effect can be generated. So moving to the part, like I have created a division with M1 and width is 200 pixel high, 200 pixel background color red and the color white. So this is a division that has been created and uh, this is the buttons I have created to every button I have assigned a unique class, height, show, toggle, fade out, fade in and a value that has been displayed on your current screen so moving to the like implementation part so the first of all i'm going to implement the height function so height dot click function whenever the person will be clicking on a height method uh, the m1 m1 will be the div uh, that will be getting into effect so m1 will be height so height it is going to be height we can assign here timing so 2000 is 2000 millisecond means two second if i'm going to click on a hide it will be hiding in two seconds and uh, this way you can just hide in the element and also you can call you can make a callback function over here like after hiding what it, it will be doing like uh, i can just display a message that uh, the division is being hidden this is a callback function. Callback function will always be executed at last of your animation. So whenever the division is being hidden fully, after the division is hidden, the callback function will be executed. So after division, the callback function will be executed. So this is a callback function. It is optional whether you want to write or whether you don't want to write. So it's optional. So moving to the next part, M1 and uh, this uh, this uh, M1 dot height. Now I'm going to do uh, implement the show method. So to the show method, I'm going to just copy this in order to save the time. So show, and I can do here as I'm not going to implement the callback function that you can implement according to your own need. So show M1 dot show. So once it's hidden, and if you want to show this, you can just click on a show button, it will be coming back to the screen. So next is your toggle. So toggle, uh, I can write here as toggle. So hide and show, and here we can embed as toggle. So toggle, the one is hide, show, hide, show means after uh, clicking first time on a button will uh, hide your division and clicking second time on the button will show up your division so this way you can just hide and show then comes your fade out so fade out uh, method will be this one fade out and you can do here as fade out m1 dot fade out so fade out will be hidden will be hiding your division but what is uh, like difference between hide and fade out fade out basically here hides your division in a very smooth manner but the height tag is just hiding your division instantly if i am not going to give it's uh, like uh, not even a callback function not if i'm assigning here as timing so it is going to just hide in a short instance so height show so if I'm not going to give here as uh, the time, so height, it show. So toggle, uh, and what I'm going to do in fade out, uh, like the fade out will just disappear your image in a very smooth manner. Uh, then comes your fade in. So fade in will be 
simple it's fade in uh, so fade this is a case sensitive the fade out is a case sensitive and o is a capital if you are not going to write o capital it will not be executed so fade out and now it's fade in uh, then comes the fade to up till how much uh, how much opacity you need to fade to so fade to fade to to is your capital it's it will be 0.5 comma 2000 so fade to uh, i think uh, there is a some 2000 will be the first and 0.5 will be the next one so the division has been fade to up till 50 percent basically the up Basically, fade out and fade in just decreases and increases the opacity part. Opacity is basically measured between 0 0.1 to 1. If I'm going to give here as 1, it will be as, as it is uh, like we, are, we have written because 1 is the topmost value. And if I'm going to write here as 0 0.1, it will be fading to 0 0.1 only like the very light portion of that division will be visible if i'm going to increase its value to 0 0.5 the 50 percent division will be visible and else all division will be hidden so this is a way of uh, doing fade to first of all the first parameter is the time in how much time it will be fading to and the second one is the how much strength you want fade to so this is all about fade to then moving to the next part there is slide up and slide down so slide up uh, i can write here the function as slide up and i am going to implement uh, the re remaining functions also so slide down uh, slide down so it will be slide down so g will be the capital one slide toggle this is the class and this is your function so function jquery function is all in case sensitive so slide up it will be slide up slide down it will be slide down slide toggle uh, in the one click it will be slide up in the second click it will be the slide toggle uh, like it will be jump so next comes the single css and i'm going to give here, give here as single css uh, m1 dot css if single css means uh, you will just change its property uh, like you can just change a single property so background color green so i'm going to click on a single css its background color is being converted to the green part and moving to the multiple css to the multiple css we can assign multiple values it in the one shot so to assign a multiple value in the one shot we need a curly bracket over here I'm going to write here that as width. If you want to give multiple values, then you have to separate the uh, property and value with the column. And uh, its width will be, uh, let it be uh, 300 pixel and comma uh, by separate, by putting a comma, you are going to just create a, uh, you can say a separator between two properties. So width and height will be 300 and let it be the background color should be pink so let's see uh, multiple css width and height has been increased and the background color is being changed to pink so if you want to assign the multiple css you have to place it it in the curly brackets uh, followed by a property and value colon tag and the two properties should be separated by the comma and single css you don't need to have a curly brackets you have to just put a property name you want to change and comma by separating the comma you have to place the value so this was all about multiple CSS. Then comes your uh, the animate function. So an uh, we can just animate this uh, to this animate. It will be the function. What we want to do? Uh, let it be. Uh, we want to move in margin left. Uh, how much margin left? Uh, you can just put here as 500 pixel. And uh, also I like to do here as while moving to the margin left, the width should be, uh, let it be 50 pixel and height should also change to 50 pixel. So you can specify the property you want to uh, do, uh, implement on your CSS in, in how much time. So by clicking on an end function, it will be animating my division to this 
CSS properties which have been placed and in how much time in two seconds. So in this way, you can just like put an animation tag, animate function. You can use the animate function in your jQuery. Now, the last one is a jQuery chaining. I'm going to implement that thing also. So chaining. So how you can implement select BCN and what is basically the chaining? Chaining is basically when you are going to write uh, like something, uh, you can just uh, call two free methods uh, in a sequence way. So I can write here as dot CSS, uh, let it be as background color as uh, you can say orange dot. So this is chaining, like I'm going to convert its background color to orange, then I'm going to move it as slight up in how much time it's one time and after I'm going to use here as dot then slide down and it will be going in a slide down that will also be converted uh, that will also be done in the one second. So this is basically the chaining. First of all uh, the CSS background color will be changed to orange then after that the slide up will be implemented and after the slide up will be implemented then the slide down will be implemented. So let's see how it is yeah, it has been working. So first of all, background color becomes orange. Uh, then it's gone to slide up. Then it goes to slide down. So in the sequence manner, it has been executed. So this is this was all about your jQuery chaining. Like you can attach n number of functions by putting a dot, and that chain is being created one by one. That fun all functions will be starting executing. So this was all about the animations in jQuery. Uh, your callback functions and you can implement it in every uh, this animation function and how we are going to work this training with the help of dot and dot you can just attach multiple functions in your jQuery. So if you like my videos you can just subscribe to my channel uh, to get all the latest of programming tutorials. Thanks for watching.